Hey guys, Proto here. Welcome back to Rising Star 2. Here we are for another episode. Now, Kings of Rock, currently in New Orleans. Uh, we're heading to the Pablo Ashley Stadium tonight. Then we're going to go to Birmingham. Oh, no other, a whole other month of tours. A huge busy month. And then we're going to finish off in just before Christmas in December. We might take a bit of a holiday, I think, um, and come back next year big and strong in 2008. Might be the, an idea, I think, and then um, look at getting all these built up to where they need to be. Um, yeah, play it again, build up to where they need to be, and then start another tour and release another song, hopefully. Um, right, let's play our gig. 40,000 capacity, the Pablo Atchley Stadium. Yeah, not quite sold out. Ah, uh, well. So we're literally making that much money at the moment, it doesn't really matter anyway, but... Certainly smashing out the gigs. Always interest level 100%. It's crazy good. $200,000 in gig pay. Uh, $222,000 from album sales. $53,000 from... Shirts, some more rep relationship with some other bands. Well, our bands that we're touring with, I guess. Check on our merch and stuff. Everything's pretty good. So I'm not going to worry about replacing any of these anymore. Can we actually... Um... No, we can't actually take it away. Charts. We started at 696 and we've died off. That's pretty bad. I started off at 19 something and it's gone up completely opposite. Oh well, it is what it is I guess. Let's quickly head to Birmingham. So I wonder if we go home, can we actually write another song? Travel tomorrow. Should be able to, I think. Uh, let's go write a song. 28. Uh, 25. Not much there, 28 again. 14, that'll get us 95, so that's enough. I think we need to go with medium. Um, call it, um, let's go Joey's, that Joey's girl. Why not? Okay, so, that should be pretty good, I think. I think we need another more, another medium song and then another three slow songs I think if I remember correctly so we'll go to the Dolph Davy Stadium here in Birmingham this so what we got yeah another another medium paced song and then three slow ones twenty three thousand just just under twenty four thousand in attendance which is pretty good We'll see how this goes. Once again, nailed it. Always. Group up front, really getting into our set. 4,000 fans in attendance. We didn't make a lot of money out of this one, but it's just the um, popularity that I really care about. Um, Bloody Birmingham is now 100, which is good. We've got a lot of uh, hundreds and also a lot of just ones, which we need to need to build these up a little bit. Our reputation is really low everywhere. I'm not sure if that's still a bit of a glitch or not. I'm not quite sure. Um, I guess we'll have to just monitor it and see how we go. I don't think uh, Todd from Gilly Games has said anything else about issues with that. So we'll have to just monitor it, I guess, and see what happens. Uh, Eddie's garage. We want to look for another place to buy. Another house. Plenty of studios. Hotels. Printers. House for sale. Didn't fly past it this time. That'll do. A million dollars, but well, nearly a million dollars. Well worth it. So the Trudy Chen Stadium. Capacity of 50,000. Uh, what's our popularity? 50, so it won't be. 
Might be sold out, I don't think. Yeah, it's only 30,000. A bit more popular here, I think, it would work. Definitely get sold out. So if we're at 50, we'll see what we're at at the end of the gig. See how much it's actually increased. Let's view our results. So not great money-wise. Decent with albums. So we went from 50 to 100. <laughs> That's perfect. Exactly what we want. Right, Nashville, Tennessee is our next gig. Uh, any homes for sale that we've found? No, so let's go for a bit of a spin, I guess. Our van's struggling a little bit. Alright, Dale's Discount Music, Studios, Clubs, more music, more studios, printers, some more skid marks left everywhere. Home for sale, that'll do. Doesn't matter what we're paying for any house anymore, I don't care. Perfect. Right, so we'll head to the Miranda Winfrey Stadium. 40,000 capacity, only 46 popularity, so not going to be sold out, I don't think, even with just 40,000. No, definitely not. But I think our next tour will have a lot more sold out crowds, I think, but I mean, we're still doing pretty good. I want to slow this down for a second so we can get uh, like another decent screenshot. That'll do. Speed it back up. So not great, as I said, capacity-wise. Um, some decent sales, popularity plus 54, which should get us up to 100. Yep, perfect. Let's go to Louisville, Kentucky for our next gig. The Lou Ashby Stadium. Go to the home for sale first. We'll buy this one as well. Now we'll head to oops, we bring it up. Blue Ashby Stadium, chauffeur to there. Forty thousand capacity. See if we can pack the stadium this time. We can. Perfect. I think our next big tour will be will be amazing, I think, making a lot more money and that sort of stuff, but I mean money's really no issue now. We're we're a bloody rich band. We just need to try and get, you know, number one. I think. Definitely what we need to do. Uh, hecklers made it difficult to perform. Must have been the, the few fans that we don't have that were heckling. Uh, nearly 10,000 copies of our album, which is amazing. Now uh, let's go home. Should be able to write another song. Um... Go write a song. Oof, there's, a lot here. there's a lot here. 31 is our best, I think. Uh, 26. 31. And 25. Smashed it. Uh, I was going to call it Daughter, um, but I think we'll call it Princess instead. Daughter from a song by Pearl Jam, of course, one of my favourite songs as well. Uh, Bone Crusher fell, Rules of the World fell as well. So Rules of the World is really struggling. That's a real bummer. I don't know if it has something to do with, you know, the advertisement or something, or going with Lonely Space Records instead of Humble Records. I don't know. Sold 250,000 just about. 425 of those. Yeah, I don't know. Not quite sure. Alright, so we it's going to take not even a day to get to there. So let's repair. Uh, let's get that repaired. Right, beautiful. Can't really do much, I guess. We can... Um... 
couple of new songs, I guess. We can just practice these guys for today. Right, let's head to Cincinnati, Ohio for our next gig. 11.5 million. Lindsay Loop the booth stadium uh, 60,000 capacity popularity is not good enough I don't think we'll get it, it packed out at all but still 36,000 I think our next tour as well what I want to do is just go anywhere where there's more than one um, capacity of one I think so we can play at all the little venues as well we don't just need to be doing stadiums all the time. I think little venues as well would be a good thing to do in our next sort of tour. Try and maybe do like a big six month tour or something. So nearly 8,500 copies, nearly 5,000 t-shirts sold. Bone Crush is still selling pretty well. Everything's going pretty good. Let's go to Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, okay, home for sale. Chauffeur straight to there. Buy this guy. So we're still not short on money. All right, so 50,000 capacity. I think 60 popularity. Another one not going to be sold out, but... It's fine. It's still a massive crowd. I couldn't imagine playing in front of a crowd this big. Not that I can play the guitar or the drums, or the bass, or sing, so it would never happen. Right, a few results, some more bloody hecklers. Uh, popularity went up 40, which is good. Really 10,000 CDs sold again, so, of our album. It's really good, we're doing really good as far as that goes, like sales and stuff. Right, David Helms Stadium. Uh, we don't have anything unlocked in this town yet, so we need to try and find a home. Hopefully it won't take too long. We'll just go straight up through here, and then we'll um, turn around and come back down the other side. Uh, no home on this stretch, so let's hope we can find one down here. I know it's unlocked some of the things down here, but not everything. There's one, beautiful. Right, half a million for that house. Wow, it's all right. We'll do it. Doesn't matter. For the David Helm Stadium, forty thousand. Pretty popular here in Chicago, so it should be at capacity. Sold out, 40,000. Love it. So our next tour, I don't think we'll sell out everywhere, but I think we should sell out most places. Um, there'll be places we haven't been to yet with you know, zero popularity, I think. So it's not gonna help, but half a million in gig pay. Sold out with our fans. Uh, Bone Crusher singles sold out. If the Utopia is sold out, I don't know if I really want to worry about. Holy dooly, 23,000 copies of Rulers of the World. Amazing. I don't know if I want to worry about the singles and that anymore or our EP. Just worry about these other ones. I think would be the way to go. Try and get them um, up so we can get some awards for them, I guess. Um, the, the Judy Herring Theatre here in Toledo. We need to try and find another house to buy. 12.8 million at the moment, which is great. Just raking in the money. All right, let's go to the theater to our gig. Only 5,000 capacity, but hey, that's fine. Should still be sold out. Well, at least I hope so. Yeah, definitely. I still like the idea of playing in little venues like this, and even little, little, you know, pub gigs and stuff. Because we're not the most famous, you know, band at the moment, so still play 
our pub gigs and stuff and just continue to bring more and more fans in, I think. Got a sold out, full of our fans, which is good. There's still a decent amount of copies sold and some shirts and stuff. Alright, let's go to Detroit, Michigan. Kim Tate Stadium. Got. I haven't unlocked any houses yet, so let's try and find a house here in Detroit, Michigan as well. It's going to be great when we you know, own a house everywhere. Okay. You know what that means. No pants till Monday. I hope wanted there's a house here. Perfect. Buy home. I mean, they're only the dodgy houses, most of them, but it doesn't matter. 40,000. 100, so we should sell out. Again. All right, start the gig. It should be full of, you know, 40,000 fans, pretty much. Absolutely nailed it. Nailed it. Another half a million in sales. 12,000 copies of Rulers of the World. Some more t-shirts. I think we're still, yeah, still got plenty of stuff in stock, so we don't have to stress too much about that. Go to Cleveland, Ohio. Noel Briggs Stadium. Don't have home for sale found yet, so we're gonna need to find another one here as well. I know this is taking up a little bit of time, but now I wonder if our manager won't find another record deal until this one's completed. Alright, there we go. Buy this one. 365. Show to the old Briggs Stadium. Have we got? Yeah, we've got one more gig and then that should be completed. Sold out, 40,000 in attendance. I'm hoping eventually the song playing in the background will randomize a bit more. Um, obviously, it'll take a little bit, of, a little while for that to happen, but um, Lonely Space Records, which was signed on March 19th, 2007. Awesome. Another 12,500 copies of our album. We should be absolutely killing it. 312,000. We're nearly caught up to Bone Crusher already. Uh, let's go home. Write another song. Go write song. It's going to be low energy. Uh, 49 is amazing. 43. Uh, let's go 16. And. Uh, we'll go Corey again, doesn't matter. Um, let's go Gentle... Gentle Kiss, I guess. Just a random song name. Climb 59, we climb 15. Beautiful. But where's our next gig? Charleston. Travel there in a day, so... Uh, let's get some repairs done. Three, four, five, there we go. Not really much else we can do today, there's no point in writing a song, so we can practice. I'll practice all the songs that we haven't released yet, or recorded. Right, Charleston, West Virginia. Do I have some recorded contracts offers? Yep, cool. We're gonna have to wait for that, because actually, where is he? Uh, New York, so we're, oh, we'll we be going there eventually, so we can pop in there when we head there, probably at the end of this week, I think. Uh, we don't have a home here either, so let's try and find one. Might go and repair our car while we're here, because I know it's, um, oh, that was close. We smashed straight into the post then. Which is 93%, that's not too bad. Thought it'd be a lot worse than that. Right, see if we can find 
a home for sale. With a spa, home for sale, that'll do. Only a cheap one, 150,000. Right, chauffeur to the Joe Burger Theatre, capacity of 5,000. Only got 16 popularity, which is fine. Hopefully it'll boost a lot more after this performance. We might not have even played here before. Alright, view our results. A group of people we're getting into our set. Uh, popularity plus 16, so it didn't go up a great deal. Yes, it's still only at 33, but I don't think we've played there before. I'll just go to Charlotte, North Carolina. Diane Staples Arena. Can't see a home for sale yet, so... Go down this way. Travel up this way and see. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Way to go. We're going with merch. Everything's pretty good. The Diane Staples are Stadium. I think we've played here before. Only 31 popularity, so it's not great, but definitely didn't sell out. Hopefully, our popularity goes through the roof after this. Results. Um, 105,000 for some more albums. Popularity plus 69, so yep, went through the roof. Great. Go to Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, the theatre, so I might go left here. See if we can't find a house for sale again. Ed's Pub, Roy's Printing, Home for Sale, there's two homes for sale, we'll just go to this one I guess. Yeah, probably not the, the pick of the two is it, but it's a home. Right, so only 18 fans, or 18 popularity here, it's only a small gig so, the Boyd Turley Theatre. Listen to those girls scream. God, they love us, don't they? Absolutely love us. Must be just because, um... Yeah. It's Eli, isn't it? Wearing no shirt. Which I'm not even sure if it's Eli or not. I don't think it is. It's Todd. Todd. Should have known that. Let's go to Greenville, North Carolina. We don't have a house here, but we can chauffeur, buy one, perfect. Still got 13 million even after buying all these houses. We only got 10 popularity here. So I'd like to think that we can get the popularity through the roof if we start playing at the smaller venues again. So I want to try and get every everything to 100 as far as popularity goes. Alright, plus 16, so it didn't boost by much, but... Right, let's go to Virginia Beach. Got home for sale just there. Right, let's buy this one. At least not the dodgiest one. Ah, beautiful. Right, right across from where we need to go, but we'll chauffeur because I'm lazy. Try and save a bit of time. I need 21 popularity, so I don't think we'll sell out. Actually, we did. It was only a small stadium. I wonder why 
we don't have a banner there in the background. I think we should have it selected. Not quite sure. Alright, Richmond, we've got a home here already, so... Um, yeah, banner albums too. It's 40,000 capacity. Yeah, banners... I can't see our banner anywhere. I thought it would have been up here behind us. It's a bit of a shame. I'll mention that to Todd and see... See if that's meant to be like that or if it's a bit of an issue. Merchandise counter was crazy busy. Good, nearly 15,000 copies, nearly 6,000 shirts. Awesome, let's go home. Need to write another song. Oh, what are we going to call this one? I've got no idea, to be honest. Sometimes I've got great ideas, other times I've literally got nothing. Uh, Todd, Valkyrie, Todd, and... I think, yeah, Eli is the one that's a bit cocky, isn't he? Uh, low song, um, we call the last one. Gentle kiss, uh, let's go. Looks pretty silly, doesn't it? Let's get sex on the beach. Oops, not beak. Definitely don't have sex on the beak. We climbed seven, climbed eleven. That's pretty good. Let's practice these songs. I know it doesn't really matter too much. Right, gig in the Jacqueline Dion Arena. We can actually view our archive songs. It's good that we can actually go back and look at them too. Right, let's go to Washington. Actually, what is it? Popularity, reputation, travel costs. Okay, perfect. Um, I have a gig, yep. Do we have somewhere to buy a house? Not yet. Let's just go straight. See if we can find one up here. Keep an eye on the side streets just in case. Yep, there's one just here. Another 700,000, but still got over 13 million. Right, it's only 45, 30,000 capacity. We might go lucky and actually sell out. Close. Okay, view the results. It's nearly 7,000 fans. Some good sales again. Can't complain at all. Let's head to Baltimore, Maryland. Was it Alana Abdullah? Let's go to this one. Yeah, he wasn't the dodgy one this time, that's good. Right, we'll come out and go to. Lana Abdullah Stadium. I'm pretty sure I've played here before. 40,000 capacity. I don't think we'll sell out because we're only 58 popularity, but might go, yeah, I thought might go close. Over three quarters full, so it's not too bad. Right, nailed it again. Group of hecklers, bloody hecklers. Some more good sales. Let's check our merch. Yep, still got heaps of merch. I need to worry too much. We'll go to Wilmington, Delaware. Then we're going to go to Philadelphia. Straight after this. Actually, we've already got a home, don't we? So we don't need to go there. Uh, chauffeur to the Bob Ackley Theatre. Definitely sell this out. 75,000. Popularity is 76, so hopefully we'll end up at 100 before we leave here.
pretty good. Another good. Hecklers, we've got 5,000 fans and they're still heckling us. Bloody hell, another good performance, but why are our own fans heckling us? Not good enough. Alright, Ethan Tolbert. Arena, we might go left here. Go all the way around and we'll go up this way. Priscilla Cooper Theatre. Roy Studio. Home for sale up here. Good. Oops, I just drove straight past it. Right, we can chauffeur back to it. Right, chauffeur back to here. 750,000. God, we're going to have... Um, Plenty of houses. Wish we could rent them out when we're not here. Should sell out here. 30,000. Yep, sold out. Beautiful. So I really need to look at... Um, Look at when we go for our album to see if we can work out what the best is going to be. Not so much as us getting money from the the recording contract. I'd rather have them do better with sales, I guess. If we have a look, like here, um, CD is distributed. I don't think it tells us how many they've sold, like 14,000, then it's like, you know, hardly anything. So if you work out what that is, it's probably less than 50, but we've sold you know, 330 ourselves, pretty much. It should be selling more than that, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Let's have a look and find where Gary is. There he is. Um, review contracts, contract offers. Okay, so serious records. October 2nd next year, so that's not too bad. Um, 350 in marketing. Are they all the same? There you go, there's a few that are 100. They want us to be 100 and not actually um, 50, 80, 130. Yeah, so the first six are probably the best, so. Juicy Swim Records, Smoke Records, Bose Glove, Cultured Whip, Sticky Ear, Serious Records. I think um, Juicy Swim Records looks pretty good. It's all the same time, 10 tracks, each track must be 100. 50 live performances, I'm only paid 5.96%. It's not too bad. Sign there. October 2nd, 2008, so... Um, must wait until at least September 2nd. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright, that sounds pretty good. Let's have a look at our song list. They should all be 100, shouldn't they? Renegade Funk's 98, but the other ones are all 100, yep. Yeah. Now that's fine, Renegade Funk will eventually get to 100, because the play skill's only 27, so... Uh, we need to record one more song, I think. Uh, we're going to go to the Mary Oliveira Stadium. 50,000, we should sell this out easily. We need to make one more, one more slow song. We should be able to do that after this performance, I think. So you guys let me know what we should do. Should I try and just go on a holiday, do another tour before we release our next album? Or what should we do? Should we just take a whole six months or something off? I don't know, you guys let me know. And if you guys want to see a bit more uh, between now and the next album release, or just want me to just skip pretty much to the next album release, you know, you guys let me know what you think. Um, really 15,000 albums sold, which is good. 
Happiness plus 988. Wow. 37 inspiration. Let's go home. Uh, we need to write another song. Write song. Another slow one. Uh, 22 is the best we've got. 22, 32. Uh, 30, I think. 22 again. Another slow song. So we've got uh, Sex on the Beach, Gentle Kiss. Um, let's go. I thought you were mine. That'll do. Right, practice. We can practice all of these. We don't have too many more gigs to go. Um, climb 34, climb 41. That's good. How's our merch going? We're nearly at 500,000 for Bone Crusher, which is good. Hopefully that will give us something like a... I'm not going to say give us something, but like a um, a gold record or like a platinum record or something. I don't know what would be what, but... Let's try and find a house for sale. Nothing yet. Still nothing. Right, go down this way and see. Gold Flower, St. Louis Theatre, The Gay Wood. Interesting name. It's another beautiful day in the city. Hotel, the studio, studio, clothes. I think I'd like to get um, everyone some new clothes before our next album release too, just to make our album cover a little bit different, I guess. Uh, nope, still no house. Where are all these bloody houses? The hotel, bar and grill, studio, Come on, where where is it? Been pretty lucky to get one pretty much straight away. Now we're gonna have to drive everywhere to find one this time. Uh, watering hole, motel, studios, music shops, everything we don't need at the moment. Printers, some more studios. Oh, there's one. Finally. Oh, that cheap, nasty one, but hey, it's alright. We've got 15 mil now. Alright, let's play all these. I think we might stay with this episode until we finish this tour. It's only like another week, I think, to go after this week, so... I'm trying to skip through it pretty quick. Didn't sell out, but... Fine. We might do yeah, like a bit of a change with how our guys look as far as hair and all that. Just make things a little bit different for our next album. All right, map. Go to Kansas City. All right, uh, no, no houses found yet. Scout music shops. Right, nothing here. We'll go. Actually, we'll keep going up. I thought that was the end of it. Let's Hinojosa. Any more studios around? Garage, music shops, hotels, all that good stuff. Home for sale. Why this one? Alright, let's go to the Mason Higdon Arena. 40,000 capacity. We won't sell out. We've only got popularity of 53, so.
Another outstanding performance. Some more hecklers. Gotta love the hecklers. Another 10,000 albums. I think we're soon gonna. Oh, we might. We might overtake Bone Crusher. I'll get to 500,000 first with Rulers of the World. So Omaha, Nebraska. And we're gonna go Minneapolis after that. Definitely sell out here. It's only 5,000. Todd, look at those abs. Abs for days. Alright, beautiful. Uh, we've got a house here, so let's go to Minneapolis, Minnesota. So there's a lot of um, little places we're not going to because we're trying to play in just the big stadium, so we need to change that, as I said, for our next tour. Uh, the Dylan Angel Stadium, way in here. Definitely not going to sell out this one. 50,000. We're lucky to have 30, I think. Yeah, just on 30. Alright, beautiful. So we go. Slow night at the merchandise counter. Got 2,000 copies sold, so it's not bad. Uh, where are we next? Memphis, Tennessee. Just about finished our tour, which is good. Uh, no houses here, so we're going left. Do a um, loop around the block, and then we'll. Oh, so do we repair our car now? We don't need to right now. One thing I'd like to see is us be able to get, you know, like a jet, be able to buy our own private jet, uh, or like a bus for something else to drive. Not so much driving it around the city like this, but just to be able to get from place to place, you know, have like a jet or a or a bus to travel in, and then still just, you know, be able to chauffeur around the city, I guess. Okay, so go to Lawrence Clement Arena. 15,000 capacity. We might sell out. We don't have huge following. Yep, we do. We do. We did sell out. Popularity was only about 23, I think, so it wasn't, it wasn't massive. Alright. Merchandise counter was busy, which is good to see. 6,000 copies, rulers of the world, another 2,300 Bone Crusher. Uh, next gig, Orlando. So we can go home. Doesn't say we need to travel now, so let's... Do we need to... Where are we? We don't need to record another song, so let's just travel. Straight down to Florida. Oh, both of our albums fell. That's not, never a good thing. Right, home for sale. Yep, straight there. Bye. I wish I would say, go to buying your new home and to now, yes or no. Instead of having to go in and out, that's probably only a little minor thing, but 61, 60,000 capacity, not going to sell out, but. We should get about yeah 35. I was going to say 40, but 33,000 is not bad. Slow night at the merchandise counter. It's never a good thing. We've got that many people here. Still sold a decent amount, so still got plenty of stuff in stock. Let's go to Tampa and Miami. We're going to finish off in Miami. Right, so we need to find a home here if we can. Right, 
Photography, Studios, Blood Ghetto. Interesting. Right, some music shops. Irwin Studio, The Thundering Turn. I needed to do a thundering turn down here. The Wooden Tongue. It's only some interesting names. Nathan Studio, there we go. Alright, come on, where's all the homes? Don't want to be homeless here in Tampa. I thought it was Tampa Bay, not Tampa, but I could be wrong. In fact, I probably am wrong. Like Tampa Bay Buccaneers, or is that just... Is there a Tampa Bay inside Tampa, Florida? Right, so we... Keep going this way. Don't turn right there, I don't think. Don't turn right here, we'll go the next one. Yep, look at that. Home for sale. Perfect. Only another million on another house, but hey, it's all good. Chauffeur to the Jerry Custer Stadium. 40,000. We should sell out, I think, at 76 popularity. Yeah. Beautiful. Try and get um, a Bone Crusher album above 500,000 sales. I wonder if we started giving them away with that count. Probably not. I don't know. Four and a half thousand, ten thousand rulers of the world. We're close. Yeah, we need like another. Not even two thousand. Right, Miami, Florida. Should have a house here. The Brittany McEwen Stadium. 60,054, we might get about, oh, 30, 35, 31, didn't think we'll quite get 60, but next time. Alright, so that's our tour done. Oh, congratulations, you've earned an award for a CD achieving 500,000 units sold. A gold record for Bone Crusher. You would get some sort of record for it. That's awesome. Another 16,000 for Rules of the World, which is 240,000. That's pretty good. 9,000 shirts. There we go, and everything. Yeah, pretty good. I think Bone Crusher will stop selling now. Just let it go. Once that runs out, it runs out. Maybe drop it down to just 10 bucks. It's an old album. Nice Alright, so let's go. Are we going to be based out of New York still? I guess we probably should be, shouldn't we? Actually, does our popularity drop? Yeah, it does actually. Looks like it drops if, you're not, if you don't play there very often. So I wonder, let's go to New York. Quickly test this out and see. Uh, let's go home. What I want to do is quickly save. In here, we'll go save. So vacation, let's go how many weeks? Uh, let's go 12 weeks. Press OK. Just see what happens. It'll go through three months, so that'll probably bring us back, you know, February, March, March sometime. But I wonder if our popularity is going to drop heaps if we vacation for too long. I think the boys need it though. Definitely need three months off. Alright, uh, word for. So they're achieving 500,000 units, gold record. Let's go into here. Yeah, see it does, it drops quite a bit. 
Not too bad though, because we'll still be able to go. Ah, go there. Everything's pretty much ready to go until we get to September, I guess. Um, everyone's pretty happy. How much else we need to do? I think we will save it. That's fine. Don't mind losing a little bit there, but then if we go into song list, see our play skill is one for everything now. Not great at all. So I didn't want to play these songs before we released our album, but I don't think it really matters. So if we come into here um, and archive all these other songs we've done. It just makes it a lot easier to get them out of the way. Should be left with just 12 songs after this. Right, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, perfect. So then we can obviously come in here, practice everything, save set 12 songs. If we practice for like, you know, like 14 days, so two weeks, we should get it up to pretty much 100 play skill, I think. But um, maybe not, because it brought us back early. It was Todd's birthday. Um, rules of the world climbed a little bit, that's good. But um, right here, guys, what I'll do is I'll end the episode here. I think I might um, get the play skill to 100, do some recording, get everything ready to release, and then just start playing again. Uh, I might set up a little small tour or something, and I might just bring you guys back when the album releases in September. That way you guys aren't sort of seeing too much of the boring stuff. But yeah, up to you guys as well. Let me know what you think. I might let this video be out for 24 hours or so before I record the next one, just so you guys give me a bit of feedback. So if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.